Hello, welcome to GTA Part 8, I believe. Um, I had to do something at work today that just took away my gaming session. Um, I accidentally... Come back, car. No, please come back. Please. Alright, so anyways, uh, accidentally... Whoops. No, 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 no. That's the problem with GTA right there. You try to take a car, he goes, oh, I saved somebody's life. Anyways, um, so, so life had it, had me accidentally leave my car keys in my car. And... It wasn't just like it happened, right? It happened while so my, my other car keys were, were also in the car. And I say, <clears throat> now, personally, I for for, your, for you to leave your car keys in a car is a bit random. But to happen while your other car keys are in, it, it just feels like you know. It, it just felt like. You had to call somebody, or you had to open it, pipe, pipe it open yourself. You know. We have certain issues to clear up before we continue any form of relationship, business or otherwise. Let's lay our cards on the table. I am Yakuza, and I know you worked for Salvatore Leone. I'll tell you in a minute what I did. I can give you work with our organization, but first you must prove to me that your ties with the mafia are truly broken. Oh, so only GTA Salvador today. Leone will be leaving Luigi's in about so maybe two or three for time. today. Make sure he doesn't reach his club alive. Meanwhile, Maria and I will catch up on old times. Oh, Asuka, you've got a massager. That's not a massager. A bunch of weird old ladies. Anyway, so what I did was I went to Google, right? And I type in... I accidentally left my cars inside my car. You know, trying to figure out what what should I do, right? <clears throat> so it gave me a number near near me that uh was able to help me, right? I called them. I told them what happened. Um, I didn't need my driver license, but you do need to prove your, you know, you do need to prove that that's your car, or whatever. Because it's kind of scary that anybody could call them and and so on. You know, another scary thing is that what they did, all they did was. Put a hook in there, you know. All they did was give me a second. All they did was put a put like one of those air compression things that you put on your arm. Well, that it was like a square, right? It's gonna get scary in a minute. I'm not, I'm not saying super scary, but I'm I'm just saying that I kind of got scared a little bit. All right. So, anyways, they charged me a hundred dollars, which honestly they should have charged me like fifty. But for some reason, when the guy showed up, he was like a hundred. Now I'm like, wow. You know, in my mind, and, and out of my mind, I'm like, wow, that's a bit, you know, expensive. A hundred dollars, dude. But that's what life wanted me to pay. And when I say life, I mean you don't have to accept it because that's also life. You know, life is is exactly at the split. I wouldn't say atom of a second, of a choice. Because you personally probably already feel like what you're going to say, what you're going to do, what you want to say, what you want to do, you know? But even though you feel like doing something, that doesn't mean you're honestly going to do it. Anyways, so the guy showed up, right? And he did his work. He did it old school like anybody else would. I mean, I didn't have to call him, but uh, I was I was in a bit of a rush, you know? I mean, it's not cool to keep your car locked with your car keys inside at any point of the day or anything you know at any point you don't want to be the one trying to squeeze in with a hanger or whatever you know and then feel like you can't do it or you can't do it or it takes you more than 30 minutes etc 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 you know anyways <clears throat> so i was standing next to the guy not next next to the guy but you know near the car near the guy and he did it with a huge green stick but I never saw him pull the, the 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 handle. If you're ever gonna be there next to the person, dude, he doesn't touch the handle. 
that's the scary part you know i don't know what he did i don't i don't know his job i like i don't know what was the action right other than what it looked like you know what i mean like it looked like he was doing what he what you assume was the proper technique correct but dude he only stuck it in there once he went like halfway basically like the the, the stick was in midair to, towards the seat right and then he took it out he says something blah 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 then he opened the door you know so so i told him you know it's kind of scary that anybody could squeeze in put a put a thing and open your car door you know he said yeah that's kind of scary i was like yeah but um i showed him my car insurance which has my name and that was basically good enough for him to know that that was my car but basically i'm at work there's nobody else here um you know I would have easily showed him my driver license, but I didn't have it because I don't carry my wallet or money with me. Um, I find it very, very boring to carry a wallet because it feels like you're either going to know it's there or, and then forget about it, or you're going to take off your pants at one point and forget about it. You feel me? Anyways. <clears throat> Um, that's just how I roll. I just don't carry wallet. I don't carry money. I don't, I don't, I don't carry anything I don't need. I, I have my phone on one pocket with nothing else. So I don't scratch it. Then on my other one, I, I put my keys. I put my money. I put anything I need, you know. Anyways, um, that, that cost me about an hour worth of waiting. Basically about an hour. So after that, I ate something and, and here, here I am. But... I feel like I'm missing something. I just don't know what uh what else I wanted to say. But yeah, that was basically the story for my car. Um, I wouldn't have needed his help. No offense, right? But both of my car keys happened to be inside the car, and it just felt like I feel like a bit of a not insulted in life. But a bit of embarrassed, I guess. A bit of embarrassing, a bit of insult, and a, bit of, a little bit of something else. That it just happened. Had to happen. Happened. While within less than a week for, for everything to go down, you know, and happen. No See, I felt like, you know, what could go wrong, dude? I'll, I'll take out the keys later you know but but I was hooked you know wow this car really I'm dead yeah in this game you can't swim um, I didn't know there was going to be water I would have I like literally just got off the car and Jumped up the, you know, the bridge. It happens, it happens. Um, kind of weird that left this car here. Take a left. You know, it was, it was a bit expensive, but I have money, so not half, half money. I'm not hating on it. I started very late. The 600 a week is just what I need. Honestly, I, I, when I got this job, I had zero dollars because I was very, very, very tired.
checking out. I saw Saturday Night Fever, and did you know those little fellas? They never take a break. They just disco dance, and damn bill. It's crazy. What am I supposed to do? You're locked on lips 106. All right, so I didn't have to restart actually. Uh, I just had to wait for the guy to leave within the next day of 0, 0. 0. I mean 0, 0. 0.30. And it goes to 24, right? So now it's 48, 49. I'm on fire. So I basically don't, I basically don't have to make a, go into the, to that location, to his house. <sighs> so I found this vehicle, right? Look at this thing. Like a dumpster. AC ruler, you know what I'm saying? It looks insane to hunt down a car. If I ran somebody with this, dude, they're gonna get hurt. But sorry, I um paused on pause it. Like I don't know what happened, dude. I tried to pause it. All right, we're, we're going real close to the 30 second mark.
I'm gonna ram him as hard as I can and start shooting him. Before I accidentally do something, <laughs> something happens, right? Um, once he comes out, what I'm gonna do is take this big rig, right? I'm gonna run over the uh, his 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 blockage. I'm gonna block him in there. You know what I mean? So the best strategy I have had for the moment, and trust me, this mission is a bit derpy. I mean, they want you to take out a guy from which his vehicle is on the move so hard. GG's everywhere. Make sure you buy gun bullets, dog. <laughs> Dude, I'm so hated. In in game, obviously. See the payphone now.
Some of that spank. This is King Courtney. Me yachty posse could do with them rude boy driver and people is saying you the man. Get to the waste ground opposite the stadium in a car and wait for the other hopefuls. I've got been watching checkpoints all over Stockton. First driver to a checkpoint gets the bling bling. Then it's on to the next stop. If you get more checkpoints than any other driver, I can have me a little work for you. So though, so after everything I've done, he wants me to go do a race. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, sorry for the O's, but look at this thing, dude. So I got to turn around. Leave me alone. Get in the car, dude. Jesus. Oh, 
doing another race uh, that'll be it for this video uh, still do another one because I know it, it was it basically feels like half a video